Today we are having a look at the Nomos Metro Neomatic 41 update with a ring date in neon orange. The Nomos Metro has been around for more than a couple of years now. So the Metro is available in different sizes, colors and now also with a new date function. I usually prefer a watch without a date indication as the date window rarely succeeds to impress. And this one is quite different however. Nomos did not choose for a boring old date window, nope. They chose to go for a lively and quite lovely date ring instead. Before we continue let's have a look at all the essentials in the next 60 seconds. The stainless steel case has a 40.5 mm diameter and is just 9.1 mm thick. Lug width is 20 mm and the lug to lug comes in at 47.5. At the center of attention is the dial galvanized white silver plated with a nicely sculpted subdial which shows the seconds. Of course around the edges you can't help but notice that date ring with the date indication in bright orange. Beating inside is Nomos's in-house automatic caliber. It's Nomos's first neomatic caliber with a date mechanism. The movement is just 3.6 mm high and offers 42 hours power reserve. It's an automatic movement, but you can also wind it manually, of course. Floating above the dial is a domed sapphire crystal and the case features a crystal glass back. Overall, the watch has five bar water resistance. Right then, so the Nomos Metro. I'm a long time admirer of the Nomos Metro. That initial release way back when, with the odd looking minty green power reserve, those wire lugs, the unique design and that in-house caliber, it was essentially love at first sight. Now fast forward and we have now seen several new additions to the Metro family with this one being the latest. The Metro with a new complication a date function. However Nomos being Nomos they were not going to settle for a standard date window. Nope instead they have gone for this date ring design. And I have to say it's absolutely striking. It adds just enough fun to the dial, a splash of color without really distracting and on top of all that it's a very readable date indication. They could have easily chosen a more muted color for the date ring, but they went bold here and I think it absolutely paid off. The date ring concept is not unique to the Metro at Nomos, as we have already seen this in its iconic Tangente lineup as well. Now this watch stands out not just for its lovely design, not just for its gorgeous in-house caliber, it also stands out for the incredible value you are getting here. I cannot think of any other brand that can even dream of doing what Nomos does. Indeed the value you are getting here absolutely outshines the price you have to pay. You can zoom in as much as you want on the dial, you won't be disappointed and the same can be said for the movement which by the way is mighty impressive at this price range. It's very nicely decorated and basically outclasses anything else in this price category. That I'm a fan of Nomos is of course no secret, but they offer such tremendous craftsmanship at a fantastic price point. Retail prices of most luxury watches have increased quite dramatically the past couple of years and I have to say I think most of that price increase doesn't seem to be linked to an increase in innovation, but simply an increase in marketing expenses which then translate to a higher retail price for the rest of us. Nomos, of course not immune to price increases, does not seem to play that particular game. Instead, yes, prices increase, but we are steadily getting new calibers built in house, new complications, and every so often entirely new watch designs. Even. Now let's get back to this watch and how it wears on the wrist. Well the name suggests a 41 mm diameter, however in reality it is 40.5 mm. A tiny difference but I thought to mention it here. At 41 mm with a watch that is virtually all dial, this may seem a bit large on paper, however on the wrist this feels absolutely great. I have a 16.5 cm wrist and the watch felt right at home. Thanks to that date ring the dial wears visibly smaller than the 
dimensions suggest. So the date ring adds some visual mass around the edge of the dial which balances everything out nicely. It wears a very light and thin on the wrist. Due to its unique design, I would also say this is a very versatile watch. It'll easily slide under a shirt cuff and it can also look great with a simple t-shirt. Now the only limitation would be the water resistance at 5 bar, which means I personally wouldn't be taking the swimming nor to the beach. Other than that though, I think you're golden. Now about the movement then, Nomos did not cut any corners with this caliber. Instead of just sticking a date mechanism on top of an existing movement, the caliber was redesigned from start to finish with a date mechanism then nicely integrated. That is part of the reason why they were able to keep the height limited to just 3.6 millimeters. The date can be set quickly and in both directions, so it's really easy to set. So with the crown in place, you can manually wind the watch, pull it once and you can now set the date forwards or backwards, pull it one stop further and you can now set the time. So the caliber also uses Nomos's proprietary escapement, the swing system, which you can recognize by the tempered blue balance spring. The caliber is, as you can see, also quite lovely to simply look at. If you're looking for a unique watch with a clear identity and design and an in-house caliber, a well-executed date complication, I well strongly suggest you have a closer look at this watch. I'm a huge fan. I would definitely suggest that you try it on in the metal when possible. And if you like this design but want a watch that is a little bit smaller or just don't want a date complication, you can also look at the Metro Neomatic 39 or the smallest one in the family, the standard Metro Neomatic, which has a 35mm diameter.